Please welcome Patrick Fugit. Welcome to the Late Show. Thank you, sir. And welcome to Late Night. I understand, like we we've all known you for like 16 years. I wasn't almost famous out in 2000. Yes. Okay, yeah. but this is the first time you've been on a late night show. I understand. That is correct. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Where are you gonna... Thank, you. Thank you very much. Thanks Thank very you. much. So you were, why not? You were in Almost Famous, and after that, you didn't want to become all the way famous? Well, why you, like, you just didn't do the late night shows? Because you did films. I mean, you've done a lot of films. Since Kate then. Hudson is way better looking than me. Yes. That's no offense, but she is. Yes. Yeah. I don't take offense to it. Yeah, no, not I at all. I knew at the time. I know now. Mm -hmm. I know where I stand. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, after that, there was like a, there was a nice wave of momentum for me, but there were a lot of, uh, a lot of offers coming in to play the same kind of role, you know? Mm -hmm. Kid falls in love, doesn't get the girl, mm -hmm. but ends up learning a life lesson, that kind of thing. So I, I opted to play a, a meth head for the next role instead. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah, meth head. Does the meth does the meth head does the meth head get the girl though? Uh, no, he gets his, he gets shot in the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, yes. good, good. <laughs> By John Leguizamo. Yeah. Oh wow, what an honor. Yes, yes. Yeah, that's, that's how I looked at it. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, by the way, uh, I understand you're from Utah. I am. Yes, right? sir. From, are you from Salt Lake City itself? I am. Yeah, I yeah. grew up there. What is, it, what is it like to grow up out there? Because I, lo I love Utah. It's a beautiful place. It is. But I understand you're not a Mormon. What is it like no. to grow up in, in Salt Lake City? Is that like, you know, an atheist, you know, growing up in the Vatican? <laughs> is, is, because it is, is it the whole culture out there sort of uh, That's a, a Mormon perfect culture? analogy. Um, you know, there's, there's not as many uh, LDS people in Salt Lake City as people think, but I went to a predominantly LDS... Uh, school system, mm -hmm. so I grew up with a lot of Mormon kids, yeah. um, and uh, I'm not Mormon, and so when they all find out that you're not being baptized, uh, which is third grade, which is an awesome time for people to find out that you're super weird, <laughs> um, I, uh, I, uh, I did not belong to a ward, and those were awkward questions to answer. I also yeah. did ballet. <laughs> oh, you did ballet? I did, yeah. I don't anymore, regretfully, but... Um, yeah, I did not play football, soccer, or go to a ward, so I was weird. Hey, were you ever bad? Were you a bad child? No, I mean, I was, I, I was, I was, a, I was a cut up. I mean, I was like the class clown when I needed to be. Um, what about in ballet class? Were you a cut up in ballet class? Oh. Can oh. you be a cut up in ballet class? You can, yeah. It's not a good move. Um, <laughs> my, my mother was my ballet teacher. Um, oh, wow. No pressure. No pressure at all. And she's a, a delightful woman. She's the best mother I could ask for. She, she has like those uh, felt coloring books. And I'll walk into the kitchen and she'll be like, you want to color with me, Patty? And that kind of thing. But when that she's- an hour when you were a child. Both. Yeah, well, that's lovely. this was like three weeks ago, yes. Okay. And I did color. It's a sweet yeah. story, yeah. Sure. Yeah, it's very sweet. Yeah. Thank you for that. Um, You're welcome. Yeah, but uh, when she teaches class, she is not to be Toyed with. She's she's Miss Jan. We call mm -hmm. her Miss Jan when she's in that mode, mm -hmm. and she's. Uh, so you got no special treatment just because. Oh, you were the she went extra hard on me. One because I deserved it, but also because I was, you know, her. Why son. did you deserve it? Were you a bad dancer? Yeah, I mean, well, I was in a, a room in tights with a bunch of girls, like really pretty girls who were also in tights. I was like, this is this is where I belong. This is like the best. <laughs> this is the best case scenario for me, and so I, you know, you make girls laugh. I thought that's how you did it, you know. Sure. So. It never worked at that age, but uh, I tried. And uh, mom, man, she could make, I mean, she could make anybody cry in class on the spot. Really? Even now, yeah. How? Like how? Oh, well, she'll just put you on the spot in front of everybody. She calls out what you're doing. Um, you know, ballet's serious. Like, they get really, you know, they get super serious about their ballet, but... Uh, mm -hmm. um, and they probably don't like it when you go super serious about their ballet.